guys, today's colorful look was inspired by this cute little guy. And if you wanted to see the process, then just kick back and keep on watching. I'm going to go ahead and glue my eyebrows down with Telesis 8F silicone adhesive. Then using that same glue to lay down my bald cap. Trimming off any excess and blend those edges down with some acetone. Stippling a quick pass of Prosade to further blend the cap into my skin. Powder everything down with Skin Illustrator Zero Color Powder. Since my eyelids tend to get oily, I'm applying Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. With Yellow Wolf Brother Hydrocolor, start applying a base with the sea sponge. Keeping to the top part of my head and the outer parts of my body. Do a quick seal with green marble sealer. Follow that up with the Wolf FX Orange, applying it in the inner parts of the yellow. Then seal again. Now I'm just going to cover the remaining exposed skin with Wolf FX Light Blue Hydrocolor. Making sure to blend it into the yellow. Using Skin Illustrator Blue Bayou from the Mardi Gras palette, I create little contouring and add some dimension. Do a quick spatter with the Light Blue Hydrocolor. Go in and spatter some white Wolf FX keeping it on the blue areas. Then spatter some yellow hydrocolor to soften the transition into the blue and add some texture. I grab that orange again to bring it further down my face and punch up the color. Now taking the red Wolf FX hydrocolor, I keep it to the center of the orange areas. With the light blue hydrocolor, I start to refine the shapes around my eyes and feather it out. Taking the Wolf FX hydrocolor in black, I start to draw out graphic markings, similar to my Poison Dart Frog reference. I wanted to go more creature with this character, so I took Ben Nye black eyeshadow and started to shade and create exaggerated bone structures. Then taking that light blue hydrocolor and add some highlights along the shadow areas. Also creating squiggly lines for texture. I then go in and do the same thing with white for stronger highlights. I wanted to create some interesting textures because I didn't want the character to look flat once the black spots are added. Continuing this effect with Skin Illustrator Gesture Yellow and Electric Orange from the Mardi Gras palette. Using blue hydrocolor from Wolf FX, I add some color into the black shaded areas so it doesn't look so dull. Add some last white highlights before moving on to the spots. And now for the tedious process of creating a ton of spots. I'm creating multiple sizes and shapes. I don't want them to look too perfect in any way. Taking a quick break from the spots and adding some more depth to the shadows. Using the white hydrocolor to make some thicker highlights. I threw in some purple leopard spot contacts and put on some Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Eyeliner in Legend and start to clean up around my eyes. Add a little dark blue to the inner parts of my lips and more under my cheekbones. 
finally start adding large white spots to give my skin the appearance of being wet. I'm basically just going around on the high points and just making islands of white. In the footage you'll notice I applied a mouth stain. For that I used Mouth Effects Feeling Blue. And that's basically the full look. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.